Hi, and welcome to Mini Figure Monday with that Lego guy. I'm gonna start every few weeks, have one, and then and over time I'm gonna change what the theme is. First few I'm gonna do, I'm planning on making a theme about how collectible minifigures. So to start off with a bang, let's do one of my favorite figures I've ever collected, the Swedish Chef from the Muppets. He has a beautiful sidearm printing, side leg printing, dual molded legs for his shoes, which you don't even see at all because, you know, he's a Muppet. He has an awesome red little rutabaga there that can act as a head and something else. The molding is beautiful. And I knocked him over. And his whisk piece is not exclusive, but it is phenomenal. Rutabaga is also just so good. I give this figure not a 10 out of 10, but an 11 out of 10. Let me know what you think in the comments. Bye. Welcome to Minifigure Monday number two with me, that Lego guy. Let's start off with our second figure we're going to take a look at for now, which is Jasmine from Disney Minifigure Series 2 from 2019. It is not that highly detailed, a little bit of arm printing, a little bit of toe and waist printing, but other than that, nothing. Accessories a bird, which it could have been cooler. They could have had the lamp again, even if it was like her and Jafar in the series. Both had the lamp like Genie and Aladdin did in the last series. But the bird and the bad piece is just an underwhelming accessory from a few seconds in the movie. The hair piece is taken from the mini doll of Jasmine from a few years ago and still being made today. Detailing's not bad, it's just they could have done and more with this. And I'm a little disappointed, but it's not a bad figure by any means. I give this figure a 7 out of 10. Let me know what you think down in the comments and see you next time. Hello and welcome to Minifigure Monday number 3 with me, that Lego guy. Today we're going to be taking a look at Tweety Bird from the Looney Tunes CMF from 2021. I love, and I mean love, the giant hammer. Legs, they're pretty fairly well, they're pretty fairly detailed. They look pretty good. Although nothing can beat the best mid legs ever, the triple molded ones that were one color, then yellow, then another color for the different Bart Simpsons over the years for Simpsons CMFs. But the little printing on the bottom is perfect, subtle but perfect. The head mold is just beautiful in every way, in every angle. Torso, again, is simplistic. It's just yellow with a tiny little slit. So, there's that. Backside does have a tail, though. Tweety's pretty nice. Thank you. And I would give this figure an 8 out of 10. Let me know what you think in the comments. See you next Monday. Hello and welcome to Mini Figure Monday number 4 with me, that Lego guy. Today we're going to be looking at, from 2019, the flashback wild style figure from the Lego Movie 2 CMF. I love the white base plate more than the figure, so that's giving you an impression of what to expect. The microphone piece is in a new color, I'm pretty sure, or it might have shown up in Lego Friends, but who cares about Lego Friends? Not even Lego. A nice gold record of everything is awesome, which is nice detail, even though it doesn't show up at all until the end of the movie. Plus it was the first ever way before it was revealed to be Wild Style's new hair, like hair color in the end of the movie and everything. First way to get this hair piece that was very valuable. Dual molding and side printing on the legs, so that's really nice. The bubble design's pretty cool. And the arm printing is also pretty cool, but more simplistic, plus no dual molding. I just don't personally like this figure that much, but it's not that bad, so I'd give this a 7 out of 10. What do you think? Hello and welcome to Minifigure Monday number 5 with me, that Lego guy. After this, only one more until we get to our next theme. So, I'm going to be looking at, again from 2021, like Tweety Bird, Taz. Really nice. I love they use the Rocket Raccoon tail piece in a very useful way. Hey, and thank God it doesn't have to have dual molding or anything like the ducks, so that looks awkward. He has a little pie and a drumstick. The head mold is beautiful. There's really nothing on the torso, though, for printing. Just plain brown. Same as the mid legs, but they are mid legs in a color that's not that common, so that's pretty nice. Plus, his little disc piece at the bottom first and for Frozone is pretty nice. Plus, you can try to spin him, but most of the time fail. And thank you for watching me. Have a fun time, and see you next Monday.